Uh, welcome guys, uh, my name is V Santiago 113 uh, It's been a while since last time I made a video for Python uh, I'm going to be bringing some advanced user interface developing on TK Inter for Python Today we're going to talk about uh, PY Installer uh, user interface um, I made this one for Windows so if you want this one to work on Linux you have to not use a PY uh, Win32 and just find a different library to put text on the clipboard. And the TKDND already comes with PY Installer GUI. Here's information about uh, how I, what I got it from. Just install a PY Win32 if you're in Windows and install a Pillow. Pillow is compatible with Python 3. That's why I use P Pillow. Pillow is the old one. Is not compatible with Python 3. If you see an error here with with fill on pillow, uh, because you have fill, just change the way you import the modules. And once uh, you have a uh, PY installer GUI, just uh, open it, and you can go and help check the PY installer manual. You can check for updates. If I made a new version, change something, it's going to be a new version. And now. So two things that you need. You need a PY installer developed. This is the version that I use because it's compatible with SQL Alchemy. Uh, okay, uh, let's download a developed version. It supports more libraries for Python. Then uh, also download. I don't use it, but it's just good to have it just in case. Uh, it works different different programming languages. Mostly in Windows, antiviruses would bother with it. Now you can uh, just go on the location, extract both of them. Go on UPX, copy this executable. It's all you need, only the executable. Put it on the PY installer directory. Rename this directory to only PY installer. That's it. Copy from here. Close all of this. And um, put it right here. Okay, so here we get, we are ready to go now. Uh, so one more thing that I want to show you is uh, this version of PY Installer. Uh, the developed version works with SQL Alchemy. For example, if we go to models here, uh, we, we see that we have SQL Alchemy. Now, when you are uh, making the executable, if you don't import PY or DVC, it's going to give you an error, uh, probably an import error. I don't remember now. So you have to also in import PY or DVC with PY with SQL Alchemy. These two together. So now this way is is going to work with PY Installer developed version. So now to get started, I have some source code here. I'm going to use for testing. Here you see you got a, a version file, which is uh, this one we're going to be using version file going to be talking more about it later uh, it, requ it requires a tuple of four items uh, zeros uh, here it means it's going to use uh, 1.2 or just 1.2 or you can just 1.2.0.0 if you use a version it's going to be 1.0.0.1 then here uh, same so this is what it is, uh, tell you in a second where you can get this file from. You can just get them from any executable, I'll show you that in a few minutes. So to start, uh, let's start by PY installer GUI support drag and drop. So you can just drag and drop everything you need here. And uh, resource version file, just drag and drop. You can also click browse and find them. Okay, so now make sure you click icon. You're going to use it. Uh, oh, the version files. Where did it go? Um, oh, got missing somehow. Okay, let's put it again. Just put it over here. Okay, so here we go. And click version file. Um, it's one file. If you don't check this version, it's going to uh, put make it a executable and next to it is going to put all the DLLs and all the files that Python needs to run for running on, on Windows. 
one file means everything is packed into the same executable so now you here you choose if it's a console or it's a window in this case a window here you can put an alternate name for example I'm going to name it test me e and check this option if you don't check this option make sure you first put the name and then you check the same as here so this update on the bottom is going to be actually the command if you don't check this option it's going to use this name the name of the of the script as the name of the executable so here we go we are ready to go just click build and that, com that window is going to become responsive this means it's doing something on the background so when it finish the this all is going to clear out it's going to become responsive again the screen is mean it finish most of the time it's going to hang out here on appending to archive to DXE. This is normal. I already finished. So you can just click close. Now you go to the py installer directory. Uh, you can delete the spec file and the build file. You only need a distribution file. Uh, that's the only one you need, which is this one. This is the name we gave it. You go to properties, details, show detailed information for the program. Now for this program to run, uh, it requires the images and also requires the license to be here. So now let's test it. Now we can run it. It's going to where I work over a VPN connection, so that's why it's going to be a little bit slow. Did you see SQL Alchemy? So here we go. We can just go in drawings. We can search for something. Let's say uh, 2014. It's going to find all the files with 2014. And here we go. We can just make this big. Takes a little bit to go there and come back. Uh, internet where I work is a little bit slow. That's why. So this is going to take a little bit. Oh, that's it. So here you can click you find files. This program is made on Python. You find files and it shows a preview of the documents, uh, even if it's a drawing. So that's it. This is working. We don't need this anymore. Just leave it here. Now uh, we're going back to py installer. Now uh, we're going to talk about the resource version file. Resource version file again. This is when you right click, go to properties and details. Now where you get it from? You can go on tools. You can say grab version. Put this over here. Uh, it's always good to grab it from Windows itself. So go to C drive. Go to Windows. Type cmd.exe. Wait for Windows. Uh, okay. So wait for the one that says. Uh, okay, this one right here, Windows System 32. Just drag this one here, and that's it. Click Grab Version. The version has been grabbed. Now here is the version. You can open it with Notepad++. Plus plus. Here is a resource version file for the command prompt for CMD, as you can see over here. So now we're going to, yeah, we already grabbed it. So we're going to put it on our on our new program right here, which shows different details. But we want to put uh, a different one in it. So what you want to do, you want to go to tools. You want to go to set version. Now you're going to find that uh, resource version file, which is this one. Uh, just drag it here and this executable over here just drag it here too right there okay close on so we are going to put this new resource version file we got from the command prompt to this executable and just set version and that's it now we, we go to our new program uh, it's not open. Uh, now you right click properties and you go to details. You have the details from the command prompt. So this is how you grab version files and you set version files to executables. Um, so this is everything for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. This is P1 installer user interface. Uh, all, the, all of the links are in the description. Uh, please leave the comments if you have any questions or you find any bugs. Uh, um just uh finish this is everything and uh, thank you guys uh have a good day um, bye